Hey guys, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. Uh, this video, we're going to break down the Heroic Super Showdown coming up for Ultimate Warrior. Um, don't know where all of the milestones land and stuff yet, but uh, we do know what the points are in that. i um, going to make some assumptions based on past showdowns. Uh, this should hopefully give you a much better idea of approximately where you can finish on this event. Um, you do not need all of the guys to max it, so that is pretty cool. Uh, and NWO Perfect is required and almost no one has him, uh, but you can still max it without him, so that's some good news. And depending if you're missing another superstar, um, possibly even two, uh, you may still be able to max it. Um, so I'm going to get in, kind of read the event, talk about some of the milestones where you can pick up points, all that good stuff. So, hey champions, the evil Skull King aspires to claim the power of Grey Skull, but he hadn't planned on WW Attorney as Heroic Champion. Let the Super Showdown begin. Play the Heroic Super Showdown contest with selected showboats and win a two-star bronze poster of brand new Ultimate Warrior Heroic Champion of WW Eternia. Unlock him at 4 star bronze with shards in milestones and limited time tours alongside valuable rewards. Make it to the top in the leaderboards for a 4 star silver Ultimate Warrior Heroic Champion of WW Eternia or take a chance in the loot for a 4 star gold poster and shards. Uh, character pre previews are available from the content creators. Benny's a really cool guy, so check it out. Actually, his one of his first build first seen at 4-star looks really cool. Uh, I like that build. Uh, please note, screenshots taken from a test environment, text numbers, and dates are subject to change. We've all had that happen and are aware of that. The Heroic Super Showdown begins on Friday 6-5 at noon Pacific Standard Time and lasts until 6-8 at noon Pacific Standard Time. Um, the relevant showdown tournament will start on Saturday 6-6 at noon and end on Sunday 6-7 at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So here's the scoring point methods. Uh, if you look on the left, I have the math kind of done over here. Um, Increase the talent of any showboat by one. I think that might have already changed once. I think initially it might have said new gen. Um, so that could remain showboat. It could change. Not 100% sure. And then you, know, you can see the required superstars, how much they're worth. Um, like I said, you don't need Mr. Perfect NWO to max it. Um, even without him, you can still come in well over 10 million. And that's assuming 10 million is the max milestone like all of the recent um, showdown contests have been. So the required guys are uh, John Cena, Evil Robot of the Skull King. 50 matches with him, or 50 wins. Um, Showboat, Randy Savage, Madness. 3 with him. Ultimate Warrior, Powerhouse. Um, 3 with him. Fandango, Deputy Dango, three with him. Andre the Giant, three with him. Showboat, uh, Steve Austin, three. Ricochet NXT, three. Slick Rick for two. Hacksaw for two. Rowdy Rowdy Piper for two. Um, you get 50 points for a showdown coin and 7,500 for spending a loot coin. So the, um, the biggest guys, the guys worth the most, are going to be Piper's worth 1.5 million. So if you lack Piper, um, you're probably looking at being around 9 million to 9.3 million if you have everyone else besides Piper and um, NWO Perfect. But don't think you can't max it because you do have that showdown right here, increase the talent of any showboat or possibly new gen. You get 40 points per talent level. So you can make up a bunch right there with that so you still have a chance without spending um, alternatively the other two ones that are worth a million apiece are uh, Slick Rick and Hacksaw so missing one of those takes off a bunch of points too but again less than Piper so you can recover from it a lot of the other guys aren't worth a ton of points so you could possibly be missing um, Fandango and potentially hit it without having to do much talent up. So if you look on the left of the screen, I kind of broke down the daily showdown coins 
and that average is for I believe like 2700 um, ranking so you may get more coins than that you may get less uh, if you get more obviously you're gonna need less points elsewhere and I also figured for the the weekly showdown coin prize uh, 17,000 coins you may get more or less than that so you can plan accordingly the 7,500 from each maxing each day that is always there so it will be that um, this milestones one with 5,000 showdown coins that's typically what we get for maxing the solo contest so you can probably count on an additional 250,000 there so if you had everyone but NWO perfect, you'd be over that 10 million mark by over 800,000. So you could potentially um, do that and be missing Fandango, um, or you could maybe be missing NXT Rico or and Showboat Savage or something like that. You're probably not missing those guys, uh, but you could be. Um, most likely you're missing one of the top three, the, the Slick Rick, Hacksaw, or Piper, and it's probably Piper or Hacksaw. Maybe you're missing Fandango too. Um, those are the ones you're most likely to be missing. You can make that up though. I think this is a very good event, especially when you look at the fact that uh, the Texas Rattlesnake Showboat, who's still pretty rare, is going to be available in the Milestones at 3 Star Bronze, which is pretty awesome. Um, Bobby Roode at 3 Star Bronze as well is available in the Milestones, so that's pretty pretty awesome it kinda covers it right here uh, leaderboard rewards are here and then on top of all this we're gonna get some limited time tours uh, the first one is like the bonus tour essentially uh, if you ha get the ultimate warrior heroic champion chance to get some more shards for him um, an equal odds bag a bunch of tokens and TP so if you get him that's gonna be awesome rewards um, right here uh, he's going to unlock at 1200 shards it sounds like and if you max the contest you're going to get four, 400 you can get another 600 if you have Piper and Warrior and another 375 if you have Dango what that means is if you have those guys and you max the solo you're going to be able to get Warrior at 4 star bronze so again really really cool also potentially if you have Piper and you're missing, say, um, Slick Rick and Hacksaw and you can't max it, this will give you a chance for another way to get him. Uh, either way, there's going to be a bunch of shards going out. Uh, so I think this is a pretty big win for an event. And it's really cool. And we get our second warrior. And a lot of people are going to have a shot at getting him. So this is a showdown you're definitely going to want to play. Um, when the event tonight when showdown coins reset don't do showdown and save those coins for tomorrow because when the event goes live so they will count towards your score um, you have four days to get those daily regular tour coins and add up some extra points so keep in mind you have that um, to get there as well um, this is a picture it looks like of some of the things available in that um, equal odds bag right here and there's going to be some special offers. Um, actually, it looks like I've seen a lot of different special offers um, from shards to, to pulls and all that stuff. Looks like it's coming. So there'll be that. Chances to grab Warrior at 4 star. Um, Mr. Perfect's only available in the Manager Pass. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of looking a lot like the event. I think uh, you're going to have a pretty good shot at going fairly deep in it. Um, do kind of the, the math. You got the final here, which is approximate. You can judge where you're going to end up based on your daily coins and your what you normally get weekly. Um, and then figure out who you're missing and start doing some math on your showboat uh, talent up per point because we have um, a TP event live that you can double up on that. So there's going to be a lot of chances and opportunities so I would definitely say you want to go after this one hard and uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun I'm pretty excited it's looking really good for for me to get warrior um, just by playing so I'm really excited about that I hope you guys are excited too anyway thanks for watching this video uh, have a great day evening night wherever you're at like subscribe share hit me up on discord thanks guys